What's up? Today I'm going to show you how to fold this origami bird beak mask. You can take a rubber band or something to strap it around your head with these straps. So here we go. We're gonna start with a six inch square. Well, if you want, if you want it to cover your mouth and nose, I would recommend a 12 inch square. But for this model, I'm just going to use a six inch square. So I'm gonna start white, well, colored side up, and we're going to make a water bomb base. So it's like this, and the water bomb base is going to be white, or the color that you don't want. So, here we go. and make the water bubbles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold these, this and we're going to pull this out and shift it and fold this edge to here. Turn it over and fold this edge to here. Like this. Now you're going to fold this edge back over to here. You're gonna take this big flap and squash it down. Now we're going to take this flap, fold it to here, and turn fold like this, and then squash this. So we should have this shape. So now what we're going to do is we're still the color that you don't want the mask to be is we're going to fold this point up to the top. So just make the fold. And we're going to fold from this point all the way to the tip. So just like this up to the tip. And do the same thing on this. And now we're going to fold it down and turn it over and repeat on the other side. this and pull this down. Now turn back over and we're going to make a fold from this point to this point and just shift it like this and then we're going to collapse it down and fold this up so it should look like this. Now do the same thing right here and on, well, on the other three flaps. Turn it over and you're gonna keep it folded up just to make sure that crease is there. Just to make sure we get this crease. Now we're going to fold these down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna fold this ed these edges to here, turn over, and fold these edges to here. Like this. And we'll unfold, turn over, and un unfold. Now we're going to open up the model and press in this center point. And make these folds mountain folds. Like this. And right in here, what we're going to do is we're going to layer each thing. So put this flap down in there, then do the next flap like that. Then have this flap from this side and like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, 
open up the model. And this is where you can decide if you want your flaps right here to be white or to be the color that you're using. So I'm going to have mine white, which holds the model in place a little better. I mean, having it the other side still holds it in place, but not as well. So we're gonna take this edge. If you wanted it colored, you can fold it behind, but if you, if you want it more secure and to be white, then just fold this edge like this. And open this up, do the same thing. Still keeping the flaps where they are, not rearranging them. As you can see, they're still layered like this. And you can flatten. So the model should look like this. Now what we're going to do, one of the last steps, is to open this up like this and we're just going to squash it. Like this. And that is to get, when we squash it back in the other direction, it provides some 3D structure like this. Now you're going to make fold this flat behind between this point and this point. Like that. Now turn it over and do the same thing. And you can flatten the 3D structure for now. like this, and if you fold it like this, it looks like a shoe or a trowel. So now what we're going to do is we're just gonna open this up a little bit and make a reverse fold along these two lines like this, and tug it so it's snug, and do the same thing on this side. Tug it, and then you can squash it in this direction and then get that 3D structure in there. And that is the origami bird beak mask. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>